Hi, it's Rachel Hare here and we're on our third tune from the Man in a Boo set, this wonderful set of mixed music that was performed by over a hundred harp players at the Edinburgh International Harp Festival in 2018. We're going to kind of liven things up a little bit and we're actually going to learn a dance tune that is used for the dance of the same name as the tune. It's called Flitter Dance, very popular dance to be danced on the Isle of Man, both actually at Cayley's and as, and as dance displays. It's usually danced and played around Good Friday when it's said that the locals would head down to the seashore and they would cook shellfish on the bonfire. And at the end, once they'd had their shellfish for their breakfast, they would stamp out the embers of the fire. And if you if you actually take the time to look up this dance on YouTube, you'll see folk dancing it. And there's a bit of the dance where they're kind of da stamping their feet. That's the stamping out of the embers. I highly recommend you look it up. So I let's um I'll play it through to you and then we'll give it a go of learning it together. This is Flitter Dance. Flitter dance is an A traditional minor with the added F sharp in it. So that means for that you need to have your F sharp levers engaged. My harp is tuned to E flat major, so it means I have my E's, A's and B's and my F sharp levers engaged. Like the other tunes, we're going to learn the melody first and then the left hand. And there is also an intro for this tune and an outro. Well, it's the same really, which I'll take you through as well. So remember, pause, play, rewind and rewatch if you'd like to kind of look over little bits or if you want to head back to the start of the video where you'll hear me playing the tune. We're going to start off with our first part. Thumb on C and I'm going to pop my third finger on A. That will feel a little bit strange right there off, but we're going to use our second finger again on the A in just a second. Have a listen. So we have C and two A. So using my thumb on the C finger in the A and using my second finger to play the third, the second A there. So I'm going to count to four and we'll give that a go. We're going to play these on the beat. Two, three, four. Lovely. Place on an A triad now. So our thumb on E, second and C, third and A. We're going to play down that and play another A again at the end. With our second finger. So we have C, A, A, down the A triad. Two, after four together. Two, three, four. Lovely. That was our first phrase. Three, two, one. Lots of three groups of threes in this tune. Up three from B, B, C, D. We're going to play up those. Replace them back on. We're going to play down the same three notes. So now we're going to go down D, C, B. So up three from B, down three from D. Gonna count to three, we'll try that together. Two, three. Down from D. 
Now we're going to go down three from B. So B, A, G. Let's add that on. Up from B, down from D, down from B. After three. Two, three. Down from D, down from B. Replace your thumb back onto that B. Pop your third on E. So B and E with our thumb and our third. B, B. Cool. Let's try that second phrase. So up from B. Two, three. Down from D. Down from B. B, B. Well done. That was our second phrase. Let's put that together with our C, A, A. So um, our first phrase. After four. Two, three, four. is the same as the fourth phrase so we're going to go for or the third phrase sorry is the same as the first phrase so we're going to go for that first phrase again after four three four good let's play phrases one two and three together c a a two three four start off with the same way as our second phrase did three two one up from b but this time we're going to turn around and we're going to come straight back down see only one thumb at the top pop your fourth on the g okay so we're going up b c d three two one replace them all on as you're playing that d with your thumb now put your fourth finger on the g so you're missing out the a on the way down but you're going to play two a's at the end let's have a go after three that fourth phrase Two, three. Two A's. Well done. That's your first part of the tune. Let's play through it all twice after four. Two, three, four. second on C and your thumb on E. We're going to play a C and then two E's. We're going to have lots of E's in a row here. Going to so second with our C and then one thumb with our E and then the second finger is going to play that E together. After four. Three, four. C, two E's. Up three from F now and we're going to play two E's. So I'm going to go up three, F, G, A. Two E's, one with my third finger, one with my second finger. I'm going to play that up from F and two E's twice in a row. Let's have a go. Two, three, two, three. Up from F again. Well done. Let's add on the C, E, E before. Two, three, four. Two E's. Up from F and two E's. Lovely. Essentially, almost our kind of first phrase here. Our next bit, thumb and D, second and C. Now we're going to have our thumb and D, second and C, and we're going to move them out one. Okay, we're going to play our D and our C. Move your thumb up one and your finger down, so now it's on E and B. So it's kind of inside, inside, outside, outside, I guess. Let's have a go after three for that. 
two, three. E, C, E, B. E. Well done. Let's add that on. After four. Two, three, four. C, E, B. Guess what? We're back to our C's and our E's. C and two E's. Up from F, two E's. This time though, I want you to stop after one E here. Just one E. Well done. So we do our third phrase is the same as the first phrase there, but we're going to only finish with one E. Let's have a go at that. Only finish with one E though. After four. Two, three, four. Remember, only one E here, because we're going to cross over. Now cross over with your thumb on D. Place four down, D, C, B, A. We're going to play down those. Listen to the timing first. One, two, three, four. So our B and our A at the end lasts for two beats. I'm going to count to two for you to get down those four notes. One, two, three, four, one, two. Nice. That's your second part. Remember, pause, rewind, rewatch if you need to. Let's go for all of the second part twice through. After four. Two, three, four. melody then twice through each part so starting off with C and two A's after four two three four Let's look at the left hand now for flitter dance. We're going to begin with an A octave and then a G6. So that's a G and an E moving up to an A fifth, so the A and the E. So we're going to have A and A with four and one. G and E, I like to use two and one. My thumb is staying in that E. Second finger is moving up to the A and my thumb is still in that E. That's going to go one, two, three, four, one. And that's going to work in with our first phrase. We're going to have the A octave with the first C, the G sixth and the A fifth, so the G and the E and the A and the E are going to go with the first two notes of the bit where we're coming down the A triad. So it's going to go together, together. Let's have a go together. A octave after four, two, three, four. Again, go again. 
two, three, four. Lovely. Stay up there with your left hand. We're going to have a G and a B. So second finger in G, thumb in B. Keep our thumb in the B. We're going to play an E and then a B. That's going to go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So our G and our B is going to match up with the Ds. So we're going to come up from the three from the B. And our G goes to that D that we finish on there. Then our thumbs together for when we're going down from the D. When we're coming down from the B here, our E is going to go with the G. And then our B's again to come together. Let's see if we can get that. So our G and our B with our D's. Our E and our B with our G and our B. You ready? After three, so I can get up from that B. Two, oh, G and B. Two, three. So we have our A octave, G and E, A and B. You ready? After four. Two, three, four. Lovely. Let's play phrases one, two and three together. Two, three, four. It's a G and a D, it's going to happen with our thumb. G fifth, and with our A's and A octave. So those both come in the first beat of the bar. I'm going to count to three to facilitate you going up from the B, and G fifth, and then our A fifth, A octave, sorry, after, after three. Two, three. And A octave. Good work, that's the left hand. Already for our first part. Remember, you can uh, pause, rewind, and rewatch if you need to. Let's go for all of that twice through together. Two, three, four. Use these chords a lot so far in these lessons. A E A four two one right in the middle of the harp. So middle C is kind of in the middle of those chords. We're gonna play up that, and then we're going to use a D fifth. So our thumb is staying in the A, and I'm gonna use my second to play the D. So it's a D and the A. So up the A chord, and then we're gonna have D fifths. So we're gonna play up the A chord with the C E E. Let's try that together after three, after four actually three four. D fifth is going to happen every time we go up from the F. So we have two goes here. After three, two, three. And again with the F. Good. Let's put those two bits together, or those three bits really together. After four, two, three, four. Inside, outside bit. You remember that bit? We're gonna have an A fifth and a G fifth. So an A and an E, a G and a D played together. Our A fifth is gonna go. Well, they're gonna both play when our finger plays. So it's gonna go with the C, then with the B. So A fifth with the C, G fifth with the B. 
after three, let's give that a go. Two, three. Good. Our next bit, we have up our A chord again. Two D fifths. Remember, our melody stops on the last, on the first of the E. So we have two E's and then one E. Let's have a go. The A chord of the C, E, E. After four. Two, three, four. crossover with our last two notes we're going to have an E with the B, just a single E and then an A octave for that final A. So it's coming down, E with the B and then A octave for the A. Great work. Let's, let's have a go twice through that second part with the left hand. After four, two, three, four. with the left hand and then I'll take you through the intro and outro. A octave. Twice through each part after four. Two, three, four. introduction and the outro actually for flitter dance we're going to use the first phrase from the first part so that's going to be the complete phrase of that and we're essentially we're just going to play around that four times and kind of building so we're going to start quiet getting louder time you're just going to jump to the two eights okay and make the first eight last before so we're going to have that repeated four times but this four time you've got the two a's then the whole of the tune and then the outro again so let's have a go let's see if we can do the full thing and um, yeah hope you enjoy it i'm going to count to four start nice and quiet one two three four 